Hi, I'm Linda. And, and I'm Randy. And we're here from Mountain View Vineyard, and we're here to talk a little bit about tasting wine like a snob without being one. So the first thing we want to do is we want to observe the color. So if we're pouring a red wine, we're going to be looking for some really nice, deep red to purple hues. We don't want to see around the edge um, browns, maybe even rust to oranges. And the way, best way to determine whether those colors are there is to do it with a white background. So as we um, bring the glass up to a, preferably some uh, really nice um, sun exposure, not so much fluorescence, uh, fluorescent tubes will, um, will discolor the wine and change the way it looks. We'll just look through the wine and try to find what the edges especially look like. If they're, if they're um, nice and bright and brilliant, you probably have a good red to start with. So now Randy talked a little bit about reds. And what you want to look for in a white wine is you, the color, you want it to be clear, not hazy. Uh, or that could mean that there's a protein haze in the white wine. And you also want to look at the color, and it should be a straw golden light -like color. Um, if it's clear or almost clear looking, it could mean that the, the wine was over sulfited. And as you can tell, um, we use very little sulfites. The next step after the eyes is the nose. We're going to follow that pattern, eyes, nose, then mouth. So when you're going to get ready to smell it, um, take your time. This is actually the most important part of the whole tasting because 85% of what you perceive as taste comes from those olfactory glands in your postnasal areas. So smelling is really important, very sensitive. Your nose is very sensitive, so mm. take, get your nose right down in there. I know it looks a little silly. Get a really big whiff and hold it in and allow it to exhale out through your mouth. You're literally going to get more perception of the way it's gonna taste through that smell than you will from sampling it with your taste buds. So, what are you looking for? You're looking for, oh, does my did my nose burn a little bit? Maybe even my eyes water a little bit? That could be a sign that the wine is over sulfited. If it has a real musty smell, um, it smells like your basement, um, it could be corked. Um, that's basically a, a, a chemical reaction from a, a, a bacterial problem that you have in your wine. Um, it's not good. If it doesn't make it past your nose, it's not going to make it past your mouth. So dump it. Um, we know um, dumping alcohol in our minds is alcohol abuse, but when it comes to, um, to tasting it and smelling it, um, if you don't like the way it smells, you're not going to like the way it tastes. So now we're at the seriously fun part of the wine tasting, actually tasting the wine. So don't be too quick to swallow. You wanna move that wine around in your mouth. You wanna give um, all your taste buds uh, a good chance to, um, to sample and figure out what it is and, and how the balance is because each taste bud um, is looking at something a little bit different. Some are looking at sweet, some are looking at bitter, some are looking at sour and even possibly salty. Don't let the things you've learned in the past influence your decision. If you hear that, Drinking dry wine makes you a wine connoisseur, throw it out. If you like sweet wine, drink sweet wine. Whatever it is that you like, that's the perfect wine for you. And only you can be the judge of that.